Crocodile's Tooth Little Crocodile was terribly proud of his big, beautiful teeth. He would always smile broadly at all the animals in the swamp. Strangely, no one ever seemed to smile back. In fact, whenever he smiled, they would all run away. One day, Little Croc woke up with an awful toothache. It was right at the back of his big mouth. He shook his head back and forth and tried fiddling at the tooth with his tongue. But nothing helped. Although he was very hungry, he couldn't eat a thing. Oh dear, said his mother that evening. You'll have to go see the dentist. Little Croc couldn't sleep that night. He had never been to the dentist before. What if he's big and scary and mean? He worried. What if it hurts? Early the next morning, Little Croc swam down river to get some help. First, he came upon Hippopotamus basking in the morning sun. Little Croc tried a smile. Hello, Mr. Hippo, he said. Could you please look into my mouth? I have an awfully sore tooth and I don't want to go to the dentist. Could you take a look for me? He opened his mouth wide. Hippopotamus looked nervously at all those teeth and said, Oh, um, well, son, I really can't see that far back, I'm afraid. Just then, Little Croc spied Elephant on the river bank. He swam up silently and tried his best to smile. Morning, Mrs. Ellie, he said. Eek! said Mrs. Elephant. My tooth is terribly sore. Can you feel around and see what's the matter? Little Croc opened his mouth as wide as he could. Elephant took one look at those gleaming teeth and said, Well now, dear, I couldn't reach all the way back there. I'm sure you can reach, said Little Croc. Just stick in your long trunk. No, dear, said Mrs. Elephant firmly. You'll have to go and see the dentist. Little Croc really, really didn't want to see the dentist. He was still sitting there looking worried when his little friend Plover flew by. Hello, Little Croc, Plover called. Where's your smile today? Hello, Plover, Little Croc mumbled. I don't feel like smiling at all. My tooth hurts and everyone says I have to go and see the... the... Oh, I can't even say it. He's big and scary and mean and I don't want to go see him. But my tooth really hurts and I haven't eaten a thing all day and, and if Hippo can't help and Elephant can't help, then that must mean it's serious. Well, little croc, that's not necessarily so, Plover said. Did you ever think that the other animals might just be too scared to help? No offense. Your smile does contain rather a lot of uh, teeth. Very shiny, very sharp teeth. Oh, Little Croc thought about this. I suppose it does, but if everyone's too scared to help, then I still have to go to the... <sighs> well... Plover interrupted gently. I'm not scared of you. I could have a look in your mouth, if you like. And if you promise not to eat me, of course. At this, Little Croc smiled his widest smile ever. Plover stepped into his mouth. It was very shiny and very sharp in there, but Plover was so small and nimble that he just picked his way between the teeth, all the way to the back. I see your problem, he said. There's something stuck here. Little Croc felt a little tug and a twist, and Plover stepped out again, holding a zebra bone. There you go. Nothing to it, he said. Oh! Little Croc sighed with relief. That feels much better, and it didn't even hurt. Thanks, Plover. You saved me a trip to the dentist. But Little Croc, Plover laughed. I am your dentist. You are? Said Little Croc and laughed in relief. And now, 
every time Little Crumb goes to the dentist, he grins a big, big smile. Thank you.